the Lord and happy new year people of God we are here at our annual joy fest conference at 3415 Wake Forest Road yes we are at the North Hills Hilton in Raleigh come on out tonight we have Bishop Anthony Gilliard and our songstress is Pastor Deshauna Bellamy we are in for a treat we are going to be here until Sunday so if you missed it if you didn't know you got next year, but you also have tomorrow, you have Saturday, and you have Sunday. 3415 Wake Forest Road. Come on out and let, it, let God bless you. Let the word bless you. Waiting on nobody to come in to praise. Y'all hear what I said? We're not waiting on nobody else to come in to praise. The theme of the conference, and I, and I should be doing this later, but I'm looking at some people who want God to move tonight. You need, you're desperate for deliverance. You're desperate for an encounter. And we didn't come here and pay all this money for this conference. We could have stayed where we were and we was going to come and be cutie on duty. But I wanted to tell somebody, I wanted to tap three or four people and tell them, you're going to get what you need tonight. You're going to get what you need. You're going to get. I said, you are going to get what you need tonight. No longer. We're going to sing. Yeah, we're going to sing. But we can become so scripted until where God wants to move, we shut him down ready for what's next because we become religious in our approach to the glory of God. But sometimes praise and worship, all God wants is your yes. Do y'all hear what I say tonight? Sometimes doing praise and worship, you are his praise. You are his worship. We're going to sing, but I want you to check your roll tonight. We'll let everybody else catch up when they come in. But I want you to check your roll tonight. And I want you to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, if you're not a praiser, we got a whole lot of room in this room. Get off my road. No, check and see if they got a praise tonight. Check. I don't care if you're a pastor, apostle, pope, missionary, bishop. We didn't come to conference. We ain't like nobody else who come and be cute. We came to go after God. Look good while you're doing it, but sometimes you got to get drunk. Sometimes you got to get to staggering. I'm a little leery of pastors who can't get ugly when they ain't got the mic. I'm a little leery of singers who can't get caught up in worship until but tonight is personal tell somebody say tonight is personal I need God to open the windows of heaven pour out a blessing increase my territory enlarge my compassion I said, in Lord, there it is, it's breaking. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sorry. I said, in Lord, my capacity. I don't want him to give me more than I can hold, but I want him to expand my capacity so I can have it all. Tell somebody, say, I'm going to have it all. Right, all right. All right. We say, pour out a blessing that we don't have room to receive. 
but our prayer should mature and say, Lord, wait, I ain't no babe no more. Pour out a blessing, but while you're pouring out a blessing, increase my capacity to be able to receive all you want to give to me. I want you to lift your hands like this, like you're ready to receive it and say, pour it out on me, Lord. From your belly, tell them to close those eyes and say, Lord, pour it out. just doing this because I got the mic but I'm trying to get some of y'all your breakthrough tonight but you ain't gonna get it just being still somebody gonna walk away speaking in other tongues tonight somebody gonna get filled with the Holy Ghost tonight but the preacher earlier told you it's about atmospheres you got to have the atmosphere right do this create an atmosphere Get rid of every distraction, create an act. We've come to praise him tonight. And, and so we're going to sing. And we know at the way church we stand and we dance and we shout while we're worshiping. You know in other countries, some of them don't, don't even have chairs in their synagogues. Because they stand because they come to honor the Lord. They stand the whole time, even doing the work. Because they have appreciation for God. Somebody said, God going to do it tonight. God going to do it tonight. We're going to tell him he's the great the great Jehovah, and we are not going to stop praising it. You should be sweating. You should wipe in your face in the presence of the Lord. Come on, give God all you got. Great Jehovah, you're good, and we won't stop praising. Glory. Come on, clap those hands and give God the praise. Hallelujah. Come on, clap those hands. Like this. Everybody clap. Come on. Hey! Clap those hands. You are God and you're in control. Seated high and you're Lord of all. Great I am, sovereign ruler, lion of Judah. You are God. You are God and you're in control. You see it high and you Lord of all. Great I am, sovereign ruler, lion of Judah. You are God, you are God. And you're in control. Come on. And you Lord. Great I am, sovereign lion of Judah. You are God. Say, you, you are God. Can you hear? See it high. You are Lord of all. Great I am. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey. Say this. Things will change when we call on that name. Thank Jehovah. Thank you, change when we call on that name. Great Jehovah. Things will change when we call on that name. Great Jehovah. Things will change when we call on that name. Everybody clap those hands. Come on. Come on. Shout unto God. 
we give you glory. Control. See that high. Turn the track down in that in the monitors. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are God. Hey, thing will change. Things will change. When we call. When we call. On that name. Great Jehovah. Things will change. When we call, when we call on, that name, on that name, great Jehovah. Say it again. Things will, will change. When we call, when we call on, that name, on that name, great Jehovah. When we, things will change. When we call, when we call on, that name, on that name, everybody clap those hands. Please. Great Jehovah. You're good and we won't stop praising. Great Jehovah, you're good and we won't stop praising. Come on, say great Jehovah. You're good. Everybody with your voice say great Jehovah. You're good. Everybody raise your hand and say, Great Jehovah. Great Jehovah. Say you're good. You have been better than me and I can be to myself. You're good. Say, Great Jehovah. You're good. Good to me, I got to pray. You're good. God, Come on, come on, everybody, come on, move now, come on. 
Come on, dance a little. Come on, clap, everybody, clap, 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 clap. And we won't stop praying. And we won't stop praying. When I think of the goodness of trees. And we won't stop praying. And all is done for me. And we won't stop praying. My soul cries out hallelujah. And we won't stop praying. And we won't stop praying. And we won't stop praying. I'm going to lift my hand in adoration. And we won't stop praying. Give him all the glory to him. We won't stop praying. And we won't stop praying. And we won't stop praying. Say, Great Jehovah. Great Jehovah. You're good. You're good. And we won't stop praising. Now, shout a praise in this room. I said, Shout a praise in this room. Shout a praise in this room. Come on, don't do the church thing. I said, open up your spirit. Ha, ta, 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 ta. And shout a praise in this room. Great Jehovah, you're good and I won't stop praising. Great Jehovah. You're good and we won't stop praising. Look at somebody and say, he's been better than, better than good. Every time I turn around, he keep on blessing me. He's been better than, better than, better than good. Look at somebody and say, I won't stop praising. Tell him, I won't stop praising. Every time I turn around, the Lord keeps blessing me. I want everybody in this room to give God one more praise if you love him. Now, Pastor Scott is an old school preacher wrapping a young man's body. And so we would be remiss if we didn't go old school just for a second. Do I have anybody who came up in an old school church? Tongue talking, hand clapping, foot stomping, tongue speaking. Glory to God. And so we're going to have church just for a moment I want you to go ahead and get your tambourines out do I have some clappers in the room let me hear you clap do I have some screamers in the room let me hear you scream I want you to clap everybody clap everybody clap come on come on everybody clap those hands Well, Ezekiel said it's all Go ahead. Has a wheel in the middle of a wheel Go ahead. John talked about him Go ahead. In the book of the seven seals Go ahead. Some people call him the Rose of Sharon Others call him the Prince of Peace And I, I call I'm sorry, y'all know God. it Come on, say it Ezekiel said it's all Go ahead. Has a wheel in the middle of a wheel Go ahead. John talked about him Go ahead. In the book of the seven seals, oh, yeah. some call him the Rose of Sharon, oh, yeah. others call him the Prince of Peace. Oh, yeah. Everybody, I call Jesus my rock. Yeah. I call him Jesus my rock. You call him Jesus my rock. I call him Jesus my rock. I call him Jesus my rock. Yeah, I know. Always walking out. Yeah, yeah. Always walking out. And I, I call. call yeah, I call him Jesus. My rock. I call him Jesus. My rock. I call him Jesus. My rock. Oh, Jesus. My rock. Say, I know he won't deny me. Oh, oh, he won't be And I, I call, call Jesus. My rock. Come on. Everybody clap those. Good to see you, Sean. Clap your hands up. Ezekiel said he saw oh, yeah. as a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Oh, yeah. John talked about him. Oh, 
Sharon. In the book of the seven seals. Oh, yeah. Some call him the prince of Sharon. Oh, yeah. Others call him the prince of peace. Oh, yeah. Say, I, I call Jesus my God. Yeah. I call him Jesus. My Come on, say Jesus. We call him Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My Say, I know he won't deny me. Oh, 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 Say, I, I call Jesus. One more time, Lord. clap those hands. Hey, we call him Jesus. Mara. I call him Jesus. Mara. I call him Jesus. Mara. I call him Jesus. Mara. The road of sharing. Mara. The city of the valley. Mara. Where is the little baby? Mara. Where is the little lamb? Mara. I call him Jesus. Mara. I call him Jesus. Mara, we Jesus. Mara, we Jesus. Mara, Lord of Sharon. Mara, city of the valley. Mara, in morning star. Mara, in morning star. Mara, I call him Jesus. 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 Everybody, clap your hands. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Everybody clap your hands. If you love the name Jesus, something about the name Jesus. Hey, I call him Jesus. I call him Jesus. I call him Jesus. Oh, Jesus. One more praise, why don't you? For the name of the nah, nah, glory. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run in, and they are safe. Don't you love Jesus tonight? I love him. I love him. I love him. Well, it's night two of Joy Fest 2023. Y'all should get a little louder than that. Come on. It's Joy Fest night two. And we honor God for his presence. We thank God for what he's doing in and through his people. Do me a favor and let's stand and honor the visionary of this great movement. Thank you. Let's honor Pastor. Come on, Marcus Scott tonight. Dressed in his white, like an old school bishop. We love it. Stay standing beside every great man. There's an even greater woman who empowers him to do a work for the Lord. 
Let's praise God for the fragrance of TWC and this great work. Lady Letitia Scott, can we do it? Hallelujah. While we're still standing, let's praise God for our guest infuser and man of God tonight. Let's praise God for Bishop, my brother and friend, Bishop Anthony Gilliam. We'll hear more from him. One more person and we're going to move. Let's praise God for our, my dear sister all the way from Tabor City, North Carolina. Let's praise God for Pastor Jashana Bellamy, who's our guest psalmist tonight. Lord, we love her, don't we? I mentioned, I mentioned how she went to DW, T, T, excuse me, y'all, excuse me, TWC and preach the roof off of that church for two nights and we thank God for what God is doing. We get ready to move expeditiously. Are you enjoying yourself thus far? The Lord has blessed us and uh, we were blessed earlier today in our seminars by Pastor Fred Folston and Bishop Herbert Davis. Can we celebrate them? Hallelujah to God. And we thank God for our midday manna preacher who preached a message entitled, The Skin I'm In. Let's praise God for Pastor Johnny Deron Brown, the Genesis Church. He blessed us today. We thank God for that. We're going to move expeditiously, and I'm going to uh, quickly acknowledge all of our dignitaries whom are who is here and I'm going to first start with our guests for in the morning we thank God for Bishop William Young can we celebrate him <laughs> glory to God he'll be sharing in our midday manner I would not miss it if my name was missing TWC loves him and you will be here and you'll be in for a treat we thank God for you Bishop. Let's praise God for our seminary leader in the morning who's here from Orangeburg, South Carolina. Let's praise God for Pastor Jonathan Mintz. That's right. We show honor. We show honor. Hallelujah. That's right. Glory to God. It's a wonderful aggregation of senior leaders. I thank God for my big brother, one of my closest brothers whom I love so much. I thank God for Bishop Antoine Bellamy. Can you praise God for him? Thank God for him. Glory to God. We're going to acknowledge a few of our guests and then we're going to have our dear pastor to lead us further. Glory to God. I thank God for uh, my dear friend and his wife being here, my brother, all the way from Fuquay, North Carolina, in here did tonight from the Miracle Temple Church. I praise God for Pastor Brian Lanier and Lady Kayla Lanier. Come on, let's celebrate them. Thank God. Amen. We thank God from all the way from Raleigh in the same city. We thank God for a new acquaintance and my dear brother and friend, Bishop Carl Jones, the Lord's Church. We celebrate you, sir. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. This is about honor, you all. This is about honor, and we want to make sure that we are intentional about this moment. Amen. Glory to God. And I'm trying to recall, uh, he supported me uh, in my business adventure, and, my, and, and your name slips me, sir. Can you please? Thank God for Elder Antoine Jones and his lovely wife. Amen. Praise God. Please charge it to my head and not my heart. Glory to God. Thank God. Understand, preachers don't have to come to your conference and just sit. They come to be a part, and we celebrate Glory to God. Thank God for Pastor McCoy all the way from Virginia. Yes, sir. Virginia's in the house. Glory to God. And West Virginia, Beckley, West Virginia, which is about four hours from here, isn't it? Amen. He's been here all week, and he's going to be here for the remainder. I'm going to now acknowledge 
uh, all of the, uh, the clergy from the Way Church. And as I call your name, we will save those, we will save those applause toward the end. Amen. Thank God for Elder Elect Leon Hall. Please stay standing. Save your applause toward the end. Amen. Thank God. And if your wife is here, they can stand as well. You are a part. Amen. Sister Jada, amen. Praise God. Minister Marshall Troublefield, Elder Michael and Lady Lewis, Minister Unita Scott, Minister Jermaine Whitehurst, Minister Julia Whitehurst, Minister Jessica Watson, Minister Elect Tanisha Scott, Minister Diane Freeman, Minister Elect Marcus Scott Jr. Amen. And of course, we've already acknowledged Pastor and Lady. This is the aggregation of leaders who make up, our preachers who make up TWC. Can we salute them tonight? That's right. Glory to God. Minister Street, I'm, I'm sorry I missed him. Minister Street, he's working. I'm sorry, but we thank God for him. And we're moving. We're moving tonight. I believe God is going to bless us. And for, uh, for those who saw the original flyer, I know some people was really awaiting uh, co-pastor Wanda uh, Frazier Parker. We all was anticipating to hear from her tonight. But of course, due to circumstances beyond our control, um, by the uh, health physicians on her side advised her that she not come this time or this early out from whatever was going on. But God has had a ram in the bush, as the old church would say. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And we are ready to hear from the Lord. Listen, we're going to move quickly. Let us stand and let's uh, welcome the visionary of this great movement, and he'll take us further in his pastoral observation and welcome only as they can. Let's celebrate God for Pastor and Lady Marcus Scott. Come on. Friends and friends. 
family. Well, aren't we family tonight? Hallelujah. I said, aren't we family tonight? Glory to God. So, so, so when you're around family, we smile at each other. We look at one another. Praise the Lord. I, I, you know, I don't even want you to feel like y'all in a conference tonight. I've almost lost my voice already, but I don't want you to feel like you're in a conference tonight. I want you to feel like you're in a family reunion. When we all get together, what a day of rejoicing that's going to be. And that's what we come out here tonight. We're so glad to see all of you God's people. Praise the Lord. We're honoring you. Praise the Lord. Since its inception in 2001, Joy Fest has always been a time of rejoicing and great celebration. Thanking God for the year that he, amen, brought us out. Praise the Lord. And then thanking him, praise the Lord, and receiving instructions for this new year. Instructions to make kingdom impact to help expand the kingdom of God. And praise the Lord, God birthed this out, amen, praise the Lord, for, through a joy night service. And praise the Lord, God has been blessing us ever since. And so this conference is intentionally designed to give information, inspiration, and impartation. Praise the Lord, amen, especially to this region of the body of Christ in the Wake County area. Praise the Lord. And, and in these trying times to give somebody some hope that, praise the Lord, if you're a pastor, if you're an evangelist, if you're a teacher, if you're somebody in the area trying to expand the kingdom of God, there's somebody that understands what you're going through. This is what we're going to do, amen, in the name of the great God and our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. So we're glad to be here tonight. And I got my lovely wife, and she looked good. Praise the Lord. We're getting ready, amen, to let her give y'all our formal welcome tonight. Praise the Lord. We got a welcome song, amen, that we sang at the Way Church. Praise the Lord. It's become a staple. And, and while, we're, while she's getting ready for that, I just want to take the time and just honor, amen, every ministry gift in the house tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on. Beginning with our speaker on tonight, who is, amen, so graciously consented to be with us, amen, and we thank it not robbery to be in this same building, praise the Lord, and we're so glad to, amen, Bishop Young, praise the Lord, and amen, praise the Lord, and amen, Pastor Mintz and Bishop Bellamy and our psalmist tonight, Pastor Jashana Bellamy, amen, one, one of the finest preachers, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She can, she can sing, y'all, but she can preach, too. And, and, and this year, last year, she broke the glass ceiling at the Way Church. Listen, I ain't scared of none of y'all tonight. I said she broke the glass ceiling at the Way Church. She was the first woman evangelist that ever preached at the Way Church. Broke the glass ceiling. Broke the pulpit. Broke a hole through my roof. And left us, y'all ain't ready. God is about to do a new thing. Now listen, y'all quiet up in here, but this conference is not for those of you that want things to that want things to stay the way they have been. The presiding bishop said last night, things are gonna be different this time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Y'all excuse me. Things are about to change. Not much longer now. Things are about to shift quickly. We got to move on, but I want you to know in that area where you've been laboring and having a hard time, God is about to shift some stuff. He's about to break up the witches and the warlocks and the religious Pharisees. personality and who's who and trying to kiss the ring to get in the in crowd. I'm not studying about the in crowd. I came to do the will of him that sent me. Oh. I just felt like I 
I just need to clarify myself. Souls are getting saved. Souls are being delivered. Being filled with the Holy Ghost. Lives are being changed. Families are being put back together. Young people are getting a vision. Hallelujah for their lives. I could care less if you don't like me. Don't you ever let nobody or nothing come in your church and shut your praise down and make you keep your mouth shut like you don't know what God is doing in your life. Nobody don't have to pump and prime you because if anybody know what God is doing down in that Wendell region, you ought to...
know when your leader dance, you dance. Look at these children. And a child shall lead them. If they can dance, I need everybody to get a dance in your feet. Get a leap. Shoulders. Elbows up. Put your head down. And go for what you know. Watch it, Bishop Young. Watch it, sir. You see them come down to the front and show them how you do it at the way church. What's God working out? 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 What's God working
the mirror would say it's already done. Pass it down your road and say it's already done. Joy Fest. You don't need no coercion when you have joy in your spirit. Our theme is Lord, fill us again. Revive your works in the midst of the years. Lord, fill us again. We're on the brink of revival. Glory to God. He said, for those who can dance on a Thursday, the Lord said he'll do it by Monday. We believe that God is going to add the super to our natural. And we're going to see the power of God made manifest in our lives by Monday. Somebody say, I believe God. I don't believe in doing a lot of talking, doing the praise, because if you're going to praise them, you don't need nobody to push you to do it. Not that we could not quote scriptures and push and encourage, but once you're there, what good is the individual to keep, keep talking? Let you get what you need. Glory to God. We're moving tonight, moving expeditiously, but God is here, and we praise him. Can't you feel him in the atmosphere? The Lord is here. We're getting ready to hear from our guest psalmist for the first time and then she'll return prior to the word of the Lord being preached. <clears throat> I want to read just a snippet of this biography only because of time and uh, she's a gift to the body of Christ but Pastor Deshana Bellamy, co-pastor and co-founder of the Life Center Ministries Table City born on June 22nd, 1985 in Geneva, New York to the Reverend Jackie and Evangelist Ernestine Roberts McCullough the younger daughter of two children, reared, reared in a home of order and Christian morals. Shoshana was taught to fear the Lord and reverence him at an early age, converted at the age of three. She discovered a measure of gifts evident in her life early, transitioning by the way, by way of the military, finally settled, settling in Conway, South Carolina. Pastor Shoshana graduated from Conway High School in 2003. She met the love of her life, Bishop Antoine Bellamy, in October of 2001. They were wedded in holy matrimony on June 27, 2003, beginning the manifestation of rightful and divine ministry for the two of them, accompanying her husband as a leader at the Old Prince Chapel Holiness Church of Tabor City, Pastor Jashana submitted to the will of God and answered the call to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Pastor preached her initial sermon on, sermon on February 1st, 2004. Pastor Jay, as we call her, maintains a consecrated lifestyle in private and in public. I'm going to skip just a portion and say Pastor Jay and Antoine, uh, Bishop 
Bellamy has two children, Antoine, A.J. Bellamy Jr., and Jastin Bellamy. She holds a four-year degree in social work. She served the, co the county of Columbia for six years in child protective services. She is currently employed with the North Carolina Department of Public Safety as a correctional social worker at Table Correctional Institution. And she oversees six facilities. Pastor Jay equivalates her profession as yet another ministry. Let us stand and let us welcome, and she's no stranger here, for the first time as a guest psalmist, let's welcome the ministry of our dear sister, Pastor Jashana Bellamy. Come on, let's welcome her. Praise the Lord, Joy Fest 2023. Come on, make noise in the room for Jesus. Come on, make noise in the room for these visionaries, the great pastor, Marcus Scott, the fragrance of the house, Lady Letitia Scott. Let's celebrate the first family, the Scott family. Honor the Lord tonight for God's oracle, Bishop Anthony Gilliard. Let's celebrate the Lord for this man of God to all of God's great Episcopal voices in the room. Help me celebrate God for my husband, my lover, my sweetheart and friend, Bishop Antoine L. Bellamy Sr. My children are here. God bless you. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me a song two years ago in the middle of a pandemic. Somebody say, in the middle of a pandemic. Hallelujah. Through the voice of my pastor, my husband, Bishop Antoine L. Bellamy Sr., we were leaving the year of 2019, entering into the year of 2020, and he said that this is the year we're getting ready to see it. The Word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse number 9, but as it is written, I have not seen, ear have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for those who love him. The prophet Isaiah gave us the word in Isaiah 64 where he said that the ears can't perceive, the eyes cannot receive what God has for those who wait on him. I want to know if there's anybody in the room who's waiting and loves him enough to stay. Tell someone next to you, I can't wait to see it. Come on, let's go. This is a good hump, so I need you to stand and get excited. Clap your hands in the room. Woo! Yes, Lord. The whole song is scripture, so if you know the word, after you hear the melody, you can sing it with me. It says this. No eye has seen it, and no, no ear has heard. You can't imagine in your heart what it has in store. No I have seen it, and no, no ear has Clap your hands. That's the word of the Lord. Them who love and feel. Hold up, just wait to see the rest. Hey, 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 hey. Let's take it from the top. Say no. Nothing yet. You ain't seen the best of God's work. Don't you know that you ain't? Hey. So wait a minute. God's got something in store. Clap your hands. Oh, I've been praying. Yeah. Manifestation of my destiny. 
Been on my face, been on my face before the Lord. He's going to bring it to me. You should be clapping, jumping, and moving about what God has on the way. We're getting ready to speak into the atmosphere what the devil really hates. And I need you to grab and an anointed attitude and an elevated expectation. Say, I can't wait. I can't wait, I can't wait to see it. Oh, I can't. I can't wait, I can't wait to see it. Shoot, do, 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 do. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. Hey, I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. So Hannah, Hannah cried out to God while she was tempted and taunted. And in God's divine timing, here comes the sun she wanted. Don't, don't you worry about a thing that should be on tomorrow. Because here comes a blessing that sorrow and I can't wait to see it I, I can't wait tell yourself what you're gonna see tell yourself what it's gonna be I, I, I shall have what I say yeah cause mine's on the way any 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 day now any day any day any day now hold on hold on you're gonna see But you're gonna see it. I can't wait, wait to see it. Can't wait, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. Help me say it. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see my son shade. I can't wait to see my daughter prophesy. part of the way. I'm going to try one more time. I have not seen, ears have not heard. I know they may have heard something, but they ain't heard what I'm about to hear. Neither has it entered into the heart of men the things that God got in store for the way. All right, we, 
We're not going to do this. I want you to do me a favor. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Touch him, touch him. Touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him. Say, neighbor. Do you know what favor feel like? If you didn't, you know. Now you know. Because I'm the feel of favor. They can hate all they want. They can talk all they want. But favor is fair to the righteous. I heard it in Psalm 517. He surrounds me. Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all still quiet. That's why the pastor declared and prophesied that if you dance tonight, it'll be done by Monday. Because favor moved fast like that. Look down your road and say, it's moving swiftly in my favor. Yeah! <laughs> Listen. Uh, pastor, pastor Scott, um, um, I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. Um, okay. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that, there was a, there was that, we don't move swiftly, I, I, you know, don't, I usually don't get behind mics because I lose, kind of lose my mind, uh, but, but there was a, there was a, a robot maker and, uh, it answered all of the questions and any question you gave it, Marshall, it could answer. It can answer every question. It was, it was, it must've been an apple because droids really don't answer. <laughs> Try to slow your roll, preacher. You know, you got to have an apple because it's an apostolic, you know. Um, the robot, Katera, could answer anything. See, y'all y'all made people just go crazy. The robot can answer anything, but then they asked Brother Kenny, they said, uh, we got one more question for you, and the robot, Sister, uh, Sister Ebony, began to percolate. The question was, why didn't God put an eye in the front and an eye in the back? And it began to smoke and percolate and move, and nephew, it, 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 it blew up. But just before it blew up, it spit the answer out because it couldn't really answer all the questions God could answer. But it really answered the question and blew up. And the robot kicked out the answer and it read like this. If God would have put an eye in the front and an eye in the back, you would never get where you're going from looking where you've been. I come to tell somebody you're going to see it because you're not going to worry about where you've been. You're going to worry about where you're going. As a matter of fact, you probably need to touch three people and tell them I ain't studying what happened in 2022. That's in the past. I'm pressing. I am pressing towards the mind. I wish you would prophesy to somebody who looked prophesiable and tell them I ain't studying what happened to me. If the devil took it, he can have it. Because God is the God of the new, new, new. The new, new, new. God is the God of the new. I will do a new thing. Have you seen it? Have you heard? Ah! Would you lean down your door and say, neighbor? Ah, neighbor! I'm going to the new, new, new. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lift your hands up and say, I shall see it. Sam. Hicks, I'm going to see it. If it takes everything in my life, I'm going to see it. If I got to lose some friends along the way, I'm going to see it. If I got to dance by myself, I'm going to see it. God bless you. God bless you. Well, I'm going to see it. By the time you get back to work Monday, all, your only testimony going to be is I saw it. I saw it. Been there, done it. Saw it. <laughs> all right. God bless you. Sit down. But I'm going to see it. While I'm trying to see it, I'm going to be it, too. Tell somebody, I'm going to see it and be it. Not only will I see my money, I'm going to be money. Millionaire status is falling on me because I'm going to see it. I said, look down your road and tell somebody, I'm going to see it. And I'm going to be it. Debt free, I'm going to be it. 
If you're single, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be it. I'm gonna be at the weight covers next year. I'm gonna be it. But if you would jump up one time and say, I'm going to see it and be it. You will make the territorial demon mad at you. Do it again. Say, I'm going to see it and be it. I know my family broke, but I won't be broke. I'm going to see it and be it. All right. God bless you. I want you to prepare your hearts. What to my dead best shot? All right, so we um we gonna move cause we got a real I'ma see it and be it. All right, God bless you. I'm too my shit about her. All right, <laughs> all right. Um, listen, sit down real quick, real quick. Now, now, now. Th there are more. <laughs> all right. Woo. Okay. So, so there are more scriptures in the Bible um, pertaining money than any other subject. Yet in the African American church, we don't want to hear about money. But let me tell you something about money. You ready? You could be at home sick with a spirit of infirmity. I mean sick. With three bottles of NyQuil, cough drops, and you know, you know, uh, uh, you know the, uh, you know, in in our culture, you know, ginger ale is a medicine too. You know, <laughs> I'm sick. Go get me some ginger ale. <laughs> Ginger ale cures a black cold. Y'all ain't hear me. <laughs> and if you get deep in the country, they get some ball mix and say you need some ball mix and ginger ale and a little lemon juice and peppermint. That's what y'all say. But let me tell you something. You ready? Um, you can be at home sick. I mean sick as a dog. But go to your mailbox and find a check in the mail. All of a sudden, God's healing come upon your body. I feel strength all of a sudden. Because money has a way of healing you. And you'll be shouting all the way to the mall. I thought you were sick. God healed me. It was an instant miracle. God did it again. <laughs> well, I want to tell you that um, poverty is a spirit and we have to praise our way out of it. But you have to give your way out of it as well. And tonight, I am living proof that God will take you from being po, not P O O R, but P O. I can't afford the O R. <laughs> um, tonight, tonight, <laughs> tonight, I'm going to come against that spirit of poor, but I'm not talking about the poor you're talking about. The poor I'm going to come over is the P O O R, passing over opportunities repeatedly. Because some of y'all pass over the opportunity of God's plan of prosperity because you be saving your money for Wendy's 444. I got news for you. Don't save your money for fake nuggets. Give it to God. Tonight, tonight, we're going to be faithful believers. And you don't have to have a prophetic word. You do not have to have somebody do calisthenics with you. You don't need nobody to emotionalize you. We are givers because we love God. The Bible says where well, a man's heart is, you find his treasure. And I guess God's heart was with us because he gave his only begotten son. I'm in the Bible. I'm in the book. I'm in both of them. I, I, I just believe that if you give your best tonight, God will come through for you. Now listen, it's really quick, it's really quick. I need, I need 20 people to stand with me with $100 tonight. 20 people, come on, 20 people. I'm standing, come on. I believe God that 20 people are gonna stand with me with $100. Let me tell you, $100 is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a reasonable gift. Reasonable, because there's a lot of things in life that you can't buy for $100 no more. Like your shoes you got on. You can't get them from $100. You can't. You can't. And y'all got some fine shoes on tonight. Look down, you go to my side. I saw your shoes. I saw them. I saw them. <laughs> wow. I need four more people. 
four more people to stand with me. Four people. Uh, you, Pastor, why, why do they have people to stand up and acknowledge? Three more. Why do people stand up and acknowledge their gifts? It is an act of faith because I believe God, just because a person stand up don't mean they got a bunch of money, but they got a bunch of faith. And sometimes you got to step out on faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for in the what? Of things what? How many more I need, Elder Hicks? I need three more. I need three more people to stand with me all over this building because I decree. There you go. We need two more. I decree and declare that if there is an issue of lack, God will fulfill your life. There's nothing missing, lacking, or broken in your life. God is able to do it. I need one more. I need one more. Thank you. God bless you. Thank God. Thank God. Now, I need another favor. Everyone else, everyone else under the, up under the sound of my voice, I need you to stand with me with the best gift you can get, whether it be 80 or 60 or 50 or 25. Your level best. Stand all over this room. Stand all over this room. Stand. Stand all over this room. Uh, Pastor Scott, Bishop Gilliard, I was in a service one night as they're standing, as they're getting that cash app ready. I was in a service, Pastor Scott, one night, and I said that the, the, uh, the angel is hovering over the room when God uses me prophetically. I don't play with that. I said there's an angel of prosperity hovering over the room, and I looked at a man, and he had been fighting with the VA for 14 years about getting 100% disability, and I looked at him and said, God is going to expeditiously do it for you. And he lifted his hand and said, God, I thank you. He, he didn't even tell me what was going on. I saw him the other day at the store at, at, up in Sand Hills in Columbia. And he ran up to me, hugged me, and cried. I said, what's wrong, Deacon? He said, you looked at me in one service, and you told me God was going to do it expeditiously. That next week, I got a letter from the VA saying what had been denied, they decided to reconsider it. He said, not only did they reconsider it, they gave me 100% disability. But that's not the part the dance about because when I begin to look at them, I said, whatever you missed in the last season, God is going to do something called retroactive blessings in your life. He said, not only did they give it back to me, but they gave me back pay. I need you to look down your row and tell somebody, this is the season of back pay. I don't care what you lost in the last season. I ain't worried about it. But God remembers because he's Jehovah Gamola, the God of recompense. He will go and redeem the hand of time for you and give you back what you thought you lost. Somebody shout, the God of recompense. He's going to give it back. So I decree and declare all over this house, I sense the same angels in this house as I did on that night that the God of prosperity is going to show up in your life. Lift your hands real fast all over this room. And I want you to open your mouth and decree what you need done in this from this seed. Open your mouth. Don't be scared. I, I don't know if you need a car. I don't know if you need a bill paid. I don't know if you need tuition. But whatever you need, open your mouth all over the room. Raise the music so nobody won't hear what they need God to do. But open your mouths all over the building and decree what you need all over this building. Come on, come on, I can't see your mouth moving, move it, move it. Come on, declare and decree in this atmosphere what God, huh? what, what he's gonna do it. Come on, come on, 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Father, I thank you for making it come to pass. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Listen, as you're getting ready to give the waves of give is on the screen of your pan by cash app is dollar sign, T-W-C-I number one. And that's dollar sign TWCI number one. If you're doing text to give, the text to give number is 833-921-6830. If you're doing by car, the good sisters are here. They took my car last night. I know they can take yours tonight. If you're paying by check, make a good check out. Good check. Good check out. Good. Touch your neighbor. Say good check. Good check. Good check. Good check. Matter of fact, just go ahead and use the debit card. <laughs> Good check. And if you need to download the TWCI app, download it right now. Uh, before we give, I want you to lift your hands and say, I have nothing missing. I have nothing lacking. I have nothing broken. Have nothing lost. Nothing wasted. And I have no regrets. 
in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for every seed sower in this house. I thank you that it will come back a thousandfold. We speak to the heavens and the earth and we bind up poverty right now. We loose prosperity right now. Prosperity is your will for your people. God, we, we should not walk around broke, busted, and disgusted, but God, we are kingdom kids. We are queens and kings, princes and princesses. God, I thank you right now that God, your word will come to pass on tonight, that this seed that's been sold into this house is good ground. We expect nothing but the best. God, I thank you that after this seed has been sold, this offering has been given, that God, every prophetic word that's been given in this house will come to pass. God, we stand here like Abraham tonight with a, a command from you that when he gave his seed to you, you gave him direction. So tonight, we praise you for direction because of the seed that's been sown in this house. Now, we come against every enemy of our finances. We come against every enemy that will stop our dreams and visions from coming to pass and God we decree and declare that this will be the time of harvest for us in Jesus name now God we praise you that this conference is debt free we thank you that God every speaker is paid we thank you that God this hotel will feel the salvation moving up and down the walls because we're giving with a grateful heart in Jesus name we do pray you're under the hand of the ushers God bless you your seed. We're moving expeditiously. It's time for the word of the Lord and we are going to have a brief presentation but before we do so I just wanted to prepare our hearts and our minds for tomorrow. Aren't we having an amazing time at Joy Fest? Aren't we? It's getting better by the session. It's getting better by the day. We were blessed in today's sessions and we are grateful that both presenters, the preacher for tomorrow and the presenter for tomorrow, was in today's sessions. And we, and, excuse me, we appreciate them and we praise God for them being here. So tomorrow morning, we will start with our prayer at 9 a.m. Someone say 9 a.m. This morning, we had a powerful prayer, powerful prayer. And we're going to begin prayer at 9 a.m. How many was in prayer this morning? How many of you was in prayer? That's right. And they begin to walk this room. And that's the residue you feel in this atmosphere of the presence of the Lord. We'll be leading. We'll be leading. We'll be leading prayer at 9 a.m. Then our morning seminar will be at 10 a.m. with Pastor Jonathan Mintz. Then we'll have our midday manna beginning at 11.30 with Bishop William Young. On tomorrow evening, tomorrow evening, we will have none other than Bishop Michael Blue as our guest preacher at 7.30. And, uh, and our guest psalmist will be Dr. Dorinda Clark Cole. We're looking forward to that. Also on Saturday, 
We have our prayer breakfast at 11 a.m. with our presiding prelate. He'll be teaching. You have a good breakfast, and he'll be teaching at 11 a.m. And that session is for registrants only. If you're not registered, you will not be able to partake in that particular session. But registration is still open. How many registrants I have in the room? Make some noise. Amen. And so we praise God and even our presenters, they are registered. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And we celebrate that. And so they, uh, you can talk to A. Yes, that's right. And you can pay $25 if you're not registered to enter into that particular prayer breakfast with Bishop Michael Blue. Last year during that moment, during that time was absolutely phenomenal. We enjoyed the preaching ministry of Bishop Blue on that Friday, but if you missed that Saturday intimate conversation, it was absolutely amazing. It's worth more than $25 to receive that impartation. It's worth way more than $25. So, 11 o'clock on Saturday, you can't enter with a $25 gift. You'll be able to enter in partake in our breakfast and hear from the heart of Bishop Michael Anthony Bloom. Then on Sunday, excuse me, then on Saturday at the four o'clock session, Bishop Shante Younger from Virginia will be here sharing in the heart, sharing the word of the Lord and our very own Minister Marshall Troublefield called to worship will be our guest psalmist at 4 p.m. Then on Sunday, we will conclude in this very room. Sunday morning is official day, and we are going to hear from the TWC Sanctuary Choir. Isn't that amazing? And then we will hear the closing message from the visionary of this great conference, Pastor Marcus Scott Sr., Y'all make some noise for your leader. Amen. 10 a.m. on that, we're asking that all leaders, I'm asking that all leaders, if you hold a position, to please be here no later than 9.15 on Sunday morning, ready to process in, dressed and ready. And you know what we've asked of you. we licensing new ministers, appointing an elder elect, and we'll move forward in those services. Also, we have vendors that that are present, absolutely amazing vendors. We have, uh, and I won't go through, but we have a soup vendor out there. We have a man of God from TWC. I forgot the name of his business, but he makes ladies longs pearls and he makes beads. He's there. They are absolutely amazing pieces. And further down, Pastor Fred Foston has insurance booth set up. And then we also have uh, paparazzi present as well. And then we also have yours truly, Kenny's Knots and Accessories. We're there as well. So patronize uh, all of us. Amen, all of us. Glory to God. Come by and we will do the good. It's word time. It's word time. Somebody make some noise. It's word time. We're going to have a presentation on our screens of an introduction of our speaker. And then after the, that introduction, Pastor Jashana Bellamy will come with a solo of preparation. And then the next voice you hear will be Bishop Anthony Gilliard, the media team. Bishop Anthony W. Gilliard is a native of Tampa, Florida. 
He holds a master's degree in theology. However, his wealth of ecclesiastical experience stems from his years of service to the church and the community. Bishop Gilliard's burning vision is to see the lives of all mankind transformed by the revelation of God's word. His mantle is prophetic in purpose, apostolic in function, pastoral in compassion, and evangelistic in outreach. In November of 2002, God compelled Bishop Gilliard to step into a new dimension of service in the office of pastor, at which time Bethlehem Judah Christian Fellowship Church of God in Christ was established. In November of 2016, the high honor was bestowed upon him to the office of Auxiliary Bishop. Bishop Gilliard currently serves as the jurisdictional prelate of the Southwestern Florida jurisdiction and as the senior pastor of Brown Memorial Church of God in Christ in Tampa, Florida. Please welcome the ministry of Bishop Anthony Gilliard. All right. Amen. A native of Tampa, Florida, Bishop Gilliard spent over 35 years preaching with 22 of them traveling the world as a full-time evangelist prolific preacher and revelatory teacher. Like Nehemiah, he is not afraid of the assignment which God has placed in his hands to accomplish. His burning vision is to see the lives of all mankind transformed by the re revelation of God's word. In November 2022, God compelled Bishop Gilliard to step into a new dimension of service in the office of pastor at which that time, or which time Bethlehem Judah Christian Fellowship was established upon the foundation of its core values, love, excellence, generosity, hospitality, and service. Bishop Anthony Gilliard has ratified, was ratified by the General Assembly of Church of God in Christ on April 28th, 2021 as a jurisdictional prelate. Bishop Gilliard holds a master's degree in theology. However, his wealth of ecclesiastical experience emanates from his many years of service to the church and community. He is also a member of the John C. Maxwell Leadership Training Program. Nothing is more influential in shaping and molding our world than a yielded vessel to carry the message of Christ's hope and deliverance for all. These attributes are found in Bishop Anthony W. Gilliard. After Pastor Jay comes and leads us into a song of preparation, if you're not already standing, we will ask that all stand to receive the word of the Lord from Bishop Gilliard. Let's praise God for Pastor Jay as she comes. Let's lift up our voices and lift up our hands and give adoration unto the Lord. We're grateful for his love towards us. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to lift this just real quick because it's been ringing in my spirit as the year has come in. How to reach the masses, men of every birth, for an answer. Jesus gave the key, and I am I be lifted up from the earth. Will draw me unto me, lift them up, lift them up. Still he speaks, he's still speaking. drawn because of his love. He's drawn because of his love. 
anybody grateful for the love of the Lord. We lift him because of his love. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He loved us. He loved us so much. That's why we lift up this praise, why we lift up this worship. Song says this. For God so loved me, he was bleed for my sins. The ultimate sacrifice made to make me a citizen. His compassion for me grows far beyond I'll ever know. Creator, Redeemer, my God, I can't help but love him so. He loved me so, so much, just that much. He loved me just that much. Just to stay there, he loved me just that much. He loved me just that much. He loved me. Oh, and I'm glad he stayed. Yeah, lift your hands in the room if you know about a story called Calvary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus. He loved me to give me his best. children yeah I'm one of his and I belong to him oh, he he loved me father he loved me enough to stay Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah, I'm glad he stayed there, and he said it is finished, it is finished, I know he loved me so much that he stayed there. He gave me the right to the tree of life And I'm glad that he stayed there And he taught me how to love Gave me a new testimony And I know, I know, I know this Jesus I know this Jesus He loved me He loved me He loved me he loved me. He loved me just that much, just to stay there. And now here is my declaration. You don't know what he's done for me. He gave me the peace. You don't know what he's done for me. He gave me the victory. Oh, you don't know what he's done for me. Yeah, he gave me.
Lord, you don't know. You don't know where he's done for me. He gave me the victory. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know what he's done. Come on, stand all over the room for me. Oh, he gave me the victory. Anybody victorious in the room? Oh, you don't know oh, what he's done for me. Brothers and sisters, as we stand in the presence of the Lord, the Bible declares in Psalm number 150 to let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. When you begin to understand the requirement of praise is breath. The requirement of praise is not good things happening to you. The requirement of praise is not things going the way you want them to go. The requirement of praise is if you are breathing, then you are required to give him praise. I've come to a season not to try to make people do nothing that they don't want to do. Because the Hebrew word there for breath does not just mean the idea of breathing in and out. But it also speaks to the fact of a conscience and an awareness of God simply means if you got good sense you ought to praise him and, and, and that praise then cannot be predicated on what he's done for you because nowhere does it say praise me because I paid a bill I knew I wasn't going to get no help read Psalm 150 nowhere I know y'all ain't going to go with me it doesn't even say praise me because I healed your body it said, if you're going to praise me, praise me according to my excellent greatness. And there comes a season that his greatness does not match our reality. And if you look at your life, it'll look like he ain't been great. But your conscience will remind you that if it had not been for God, who was on my side, where would I be? Now, the praise is not just the dance. The praise is not just the hand clap. The praise is not just the movement of the body, but the praise is the articulation of speech. You can't praise him if you don't talk to him. Praise simply means to speak well. So I need you for about 30 seconds with the clapping of your hands as he has brought you into the new year. Open your mouth and speak well of him. That's it. Tell him how worthy he is. Come on, speak well. You are my God and beside you there is none other. Speak well. Where would I be without you? You're the lifter of my head.
come on, I only got about 20 minutes. Speak well. You brought me out of the miry clay. You set my feet on a rock to stay. Father, I lift your name. I exalt you as my Savior. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight oh lord my strength and my redeemer before you sit down would you look at a neighbor and just say neighbor don't have time to give you all the details but god's been real good to me find somebody else behind you that'll talk back and just say oh neighbor if you had any idea where god has brought me from you would judge my praise because he brought me a long way in the presence of the Lord and it is by this that we know our God has favored us. He has not allowed our enemies to shout triumph over us. Surely some do trust in chariots and others in horses but I will remember the name of the Lord for the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into the name and they are saved. Do I have about 50 people to just help me put the name in the air and just say Jesus. Something about that name. I want to give deference and respect to the visionary, the leader for this holy gathering. Can we bless the Lord for Pastor Marcus and First Lady Scott? Let's honor them tonight. Much love, respect, deference. It's my first time meeting and here, and of course, it's no secret, amen, I am here, and we are praying for uh, the phenomenal woman of God, and we thank God for her life. Let's praise the Lord for her, uh, that she was scheduled to be here, and I'm here in the name of the Lord, grateful to be here. There's such a great conclave of bishops and apostles and prophets and grace gives to the body and forgive me if I do not call you by name on tonight but I definitely honor and respect each of your presence let's praise the Lord for all of these grace gifts that's right come on we can do better than that if you'll give me a 30 second moment of privilege I want to honor and recognize my beloved assemblies that I serve the Bethlehem Judah Christian Fellowship in the city of Elizabeth, New Jersey. Uh, they're on, I see them already commenting, and also the Brown Memorial Church of God in Christ in Tampa, Florida. They're on, and I see them commenting. Uh, so they're hanging with Pastor tonight virtually, so I want to let y'all know how much I appreciate you all. Uh, pray for Pastor and uh, help me get through this moment. Um, the book of Acts, chapter number 12, records a familiar text and is a beloved preachment of the church. But if you would allow me to revisit the text, even though we have heard it so much, let's revisit the text, see what the Lord would say from the book of Acts, chapter number 12. Um, and I'll begin reading it, verse number 12. I do give deference and respect to my presiding bishop that was here on last night, the Honorable Bishop J. Drew Shear recognize him only because I stand behind him. I told pastor today he's going to get me in Kojic trouble um, being a Kojic bishop. I'm not supposed to come behind my bishop, but I give much respect to our leader. Uh, verse number 12, that when this had dawned on him, meaning Peter, that he went to the house of Mary the mother of John, and also called Mark, where many people had gathered and were praying. Peter knocked at the outer entrance, and a servant named Rhoda uh, came to answer the door, and when she recognized Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed that she ran back without opening it and
and uh, proclaimed, Peter is at the door. But look at the people who were praying. Look at their response. I need you to see 15 because 15 is a response of an answered prayer to people that had been praying. You're out of your mind. They told her when she kept insisting that it was so, they said it must be his angel. But Peter kept on knocking. And when they opened the door, they saw him and were astonished. So let's preach this for about 15, 20 minutes at maximum. Would you look at your neighbor and just say to that neighbor, right door wrong people come on find one other neighbor and just say to that neighbor right door but wrong people it's interesting to me that this text in which we look at tonight finds itself being recorded by a man the name Luke Luke writes these letters are uh, accounts to a friend by the name of Theopolis. Acts technically is the only history book of the New Testament. It becomes the bridge from the Gospels to the Epistles. It comes the bridge from the work of Jesus, the actual uh, living time of Jesus to the birth of the church. Luke, this writer, has shared this intense account of the book, which is the birth of the expansion and of the church. The text tonight in which I feel the Lord would give us has so many components to it that time would not give us the proper moments to be able to deal. So I, I just want to lift a few points from the text, and I promise I'll take my seat. Peter then is directly connected to the response of a church that hears their leader is in prison. I need you to understand that his release is connected to people that started off with the objective to let's pray for our leader. Here is where the earth is beginning to find itself uh, falling short of what God requires. And it is the ability to have sympathy and empathy for each other. That now when we hear bad news about people, we no longer pray, we broadcast. <laughs> We no longer cause ourselves to find a place to cover people, but we become people that get joy out of exposing the problems of others. The only problem with exposing other people's problem is that there is something called the law of reaping. And whatever you sow, you're surely going to reap. Well, I don't know if I've got any pastors that have backed me up tonight, but the Lord has graced me to pastor two churches. And I would hope that if a day came that I got in trouble, that they would pray for me and not talk about me. You must see it, and I'll deal with it in a minute. Peter does not pray but his church does no no go home and look it up nowhere in this situation do you find Peter asking God to do anything for him matter of fact Peter goes to sleep it is the church that prays for him I've come tonight to connect with a few folk that say if I don't do nothing else this year I'm going to recommit to tap back into the power of prayer I, I don't mean no harm um, we've mastered the dancing and we've mastered the singing I still ain't gonna get no help we've mastered even the preaching but we have lost the art of a praying church you know, when you begin to pray you begin to understand something is about to happen 
Peter's confidence in this situation is so strong that he goes to sleep. Read it right. He goes to sleep in such an intense way that even when help come, help has to wake him up. He is so deep in a place of sleep that he is confident that whatever God does, I'm good with it. See, some people will preach that Peter went to sleep because he knew God would bring him out. That's not my argument. I believe Peter went to sleep because he was good with God's decision. Bottom line, if I get out, it's good. And if Herod has my head, it's good. Because to live is Christ and to die is gain. So either way, I win. See, until you start living your life under of the premise anyway it happens I still win and if he don't heal my body I still got the victory and if the door don't open he's still good I wish I had about seven folk that would help me preach and say even if the outcome ain't what I want my hand is still up and though he slay me I, 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 I yet trust him I, I heard the Lord say, go tell the conference that this is a year they have to become good with my decision. Just wave at your neighbor and just say, I'm just good with God's decision. So this praying church and a response of Peter becomes the foundation of this miracle. The backdrop of the situation in our hurry is this. Herod has used Peter's, uh -huh, uh -huh, Peter's imprisonment as a public relations stunt. Hear this. James has been beheaded and his popularity has went up because he has beheaded James and so he says since I got James let me get Peter because if I became popular off of James head my stock is about to go up off of Peter's head and you have to understand that people will attack you and have no issue with you but they will attack you because in hurting you it makes them look bad good no 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 people ain't got no problem you ain't even done nothing with folk but they will come against you because the demise of you becomes the honor to them but I just come to put it out in the air that God is not going to allow us to be a publicity stunt this year ain't no way in the world God's gonna let my feet slip so somebody else can talk about me there's no way in the world failure is gonna hit your life so somebody can sit in the corner and say I told you so I just believe that God's about to hold us up for his honor I wish I had somebody there to put your hand on yourself and say he's about to hold me up for his honor why if he let me go down then his name go down I bear his name I'm in the wrong church I'm trying to find ten folk that bear the name of God on you and if you bear the name of God and if you go down his reputation go down I told the saints the other day this year is my responsibility to make God reputation be good in the earth and no matter what hits my life I can't let his name go down I know y'all don't know that song but we used to sing it don't let his name go down you have to understand I'm coming pastor you have to understand this unique situation five minutes the unique situation is this I am in prison I'm in wrong place but right night stay with me I'm in wrong place but the right night why is it the right night because the Jews and the Romans have made an agreement no execution on holidays so they locked me up 
on a holiday. And all they can do is hold me until the morning. But what they don't know is that by the morning, I'll be out. Some of you are so stressed about where you are that you won't even see the timing that you're there. Uh, I'm in prison, but I'm on the right night. Because any other night, they would have took my head that night. But because it's a holiday, they got to hold me until the morning. And weeping does endure through the night. But joy, I just came to tell seven folk that there's about to be a divine release of your life. And by the morning, you gonna be out. That's all. I come to confine somebody that's in a place to say I thought it was over but God said I locked you up in the right season because angels are about to visit you tonight and get you out touch your neighbor and say I'm about to get out I'm about to get out no you ain't helping me tell them I'm about to get out I got to go I got to go four squads are assigned to Peter 16 soldiers 16 soldiers to one man 16 soldiers to one man. I can't. 16 soldiers to one man. 16 soldiers to one man. And here you are offended because this many imps are coming after you. When you didn't realize the more imps that are assigned is a compliment to your spirituality. Because if you didn't have it, you would only need one little demon. But because you got it like that, hell knows one demon ain't gonna stop you. So he assigns squads to your life. Here you are crying by what it is without understanding all this hell I'm going through is a compliment to my spiritual level. Because if I didn't have this prayer life, I wouldn't be here. If I wasn't consecrated, I wouldn't be here. If I wasn't living holy, he wouldn't pay me no mind. Would you help my preach and tell a neighbor you're going through it? Because you got it. You got it like that. You got the oil on you. You got the favor on you. You got the power on you. You got the destiny on you. You got the future on you. Four things, five things, and I'm go to my seat. I've got my eye on the time. Number one, light shined in. The angel comes to the response of the praying church. I'm confused with them because I'm at the right door, but I'm with the wrong people. Because you've prayed for this, and then when you get this, you call it crazy. I'm confused because the only way I got out was that you asked God to get me out. But then when I show up, you don't believe what you see. And that's when I knew I had the right word because the woman of God has decreed that we're going to see it. But God say, when you see it, you got to believe what you see. The act of it is not that it's not going to come. The act of it is when you come, are you willing to open the door? And many of you, opportunities are going to hit you this year that you've been waiting all your life. And when they come, I speak prophetically. God said, do not say this is too good to be true. Because when you release those words out of your mouth, you're going to cancel out the manifestation when your Peter starts knocking at the door when the thing you ask God for shows up this year you got to make sure you with the right folk and if anybody you've been praying with that just been going through a religious exercise but don't expect what they see this is the season to cut them off wave at your neighbor and say neighbor I hope I don't have to cut you off in this season tell them I'm at the right door are you the right person because let me go let me go light shined in 
light shined in because God does nothing in dark. I don't have time to deal with it. Light shined in. Number two, hit him on his side. Stay with me. Hit him on his side and partially, read the text, partially wakes him up. He does not bring him out of complete sleep. Because if he had brought him out of complete sleep, there's a possibility he wouldn't have went through the journey. So God has to leave him somewhat impaired to his conscience and just allow him to be able to see without comprehending. He's actually sleepwalking. Read the text. He does not come to himself until verse 12. And that's why verse 12 says when it dawns on him what's happened, his conscience now pulls him to where the prayer had been going on. No, you still ain't caught it. They've been in Mary's house praying and prayer pulled him there. God said when you pray, your prayer is going to serve as a magnet and it's going to start drawing things to you. All you got to do is ask and whatever you ask you're going to receive. See some of y'all don't even understand the power of prayer. I dare you right quick all you got to do is 30 seconds open up your mouth and tell it to come to you. No, no, you ain't praying. Pray. The job is opening right now. The cancer is drying up right now. The family is coming back together right now. I decree as the prophet of the Lord as you pray it's coming to you hit him on his side told him to stand up if I had time I'd deal with every one of them told him to get dressed mm -hmm. because when they locked him up they stripped his clothes because they knew he had a possibility of getting away but they knew he would not leave without his clothes because he would not walk out of prison and be shamed. So God said, prepare because this is the year you get redressed. Everything that life has stripped you of, God said, I'm going to cause you to put your clothes back on and nobody is going to see your shame. I wish you would prophesy to a neighbor and just say, neighbor, I've been through some stuff that if you really saw it, it would blow your mind. But I thank God this is the year I get dressed back up. I put my clothes back on and nobody, nobody is going to see my shame. Here it is. He starts walking. Get up, walk. I'm closing. Walk. Walk through the first guard. Walk through the second guard. Walk through the third guard. Walk through the fourth guard. The argument is what's going on with the soldiers? Don't have time. How now are they in a trance that the prisoner is able to walk by them? And they do nothing but let me go. You better get ready. I feel praise about to break out. Because God said, when is your time to be released? Those that put you in will watch you walk by. And they'll have no power to do nothing but just let you walk. I wish you would tell somebody you're about to come out of it and the very people that locked you up are going to see you walk by the very people that cursed you are going to have to just see you get blessed and ain't nothing you can do about it he comes to stay with me the prison door that opens he comes to the gate of the city that opens and, and, and I argue with the text because prison doors open bishop pastor prison doors open gate to the entire city opens but then when I get to Mary's house I've got to knock 
I'm confused. How then does my presence open some doors, but some doors I show up just don't open? I come to preach to you to tell you why. You at the right door, but it's the wrong people. You've been got people around you that don't even want you to make it. They're not expecting you to survive. They're not believing you gonna be okay. But I came to tell this conference. God said just make sure you're at the right door. Because even if you're at the right door and the wrong people, knock anyhow. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door I came to tell somebody this is the year of the divine knock. And as long as I know I'm at the right door, you can ignore me all you want. But the text says, Peter kept on knocking. I'm confused then as I rap. The angel leaves him when he realizes where he is and he comes to this place of conscience and says wait a minute now I know where they're praying somebody's prayer got me here I went to sleep so somebody had to travail to God on my behalf as they were praying God was working but somewhere in the weariness of prayer and that's what I don't like about church folk cause y'all are sitting here tonight with your white on and be deep but I need somebody that will tell the truth that there comes a season that the spirit of weariness will come on me in prayer because it looked like what I've been praying for just ain't gonna happen and so I hear my grandmama singing her song and she simply said keep on praying for the Lord is now keep on praying you hear your cry for the Lord has promised and his word is true keep on praying he'll answer you I come with an assignment to connect with individuals that's dealing with the weariness of prayer and look like the more I pray the worse it get but I determined not to change my mind what I ask God for is coming to my door I come here to decree ain't no plan B ain't no plan C I'm sticking with plan A he that has begun a good work in me shall perform it to the day of Jesus Christ here is Peter I know I'm at the right door I know who house this is this house is so big that we've had church there we've housed our services here and I know they're there praying but I'm knocking and no one is answering there's hired help at the door her name is Rhoda you must understand she's hired help she's been hired to sit at the door she's not necessarily there to look for Peter she's there to open the door to whoever will come and go but it's interesting that when the prayer answer showed up she would not open the door what does the book say it sounds like Peter she never opened the door to check it but it sound like Peter she got so excited ran back and told the wrong people that had been praying Peter is at the door would you look at your neighbor and say neighbor I've been praying all last 
year and I just believe Peter's at the door but you got to tell the right people because when you tell the wrong people that your prayer is answered they'll call you crazy and so they spoke back and said to her you've lost your mind Peter ain't at the door he's in prison I'm confused if we prayed for him to get out then why wouldn't you believe that he's at the door here is the text that blew my mind they doubted so much that they put Peter in the grave y'all didn't catch it well if you ain't crazy then Peter is dead and his angel is stopping by to let us know that he didn't make it and there's some folk that's waiting on your angel to come by and say you didn't make it but I'm so glad that if God be for you who can be against you and no weapon you got three minutes still yard that's formed against you shall be able to prosper and the Bible say that Peter kept on knocking I'm at the right door but I'm with the wrong people God has answered my prayer but the people don't believe it this is gonna be the best year of my life but the folk I'm hanging around don't even believe in what we ask for but I come to preach to every pastor that we're dragging folk and we're leading folk that don't even believe what we proclaim but God said keep on doing what you're doing cause I'm about to switch the crowd I wish I had somebody here that'll prophesy to your neighbor and say neighbor don't doubt yourself you at the right door it's just the wrong people people that didn't believe in you people that didn't want you to make it people that had counted you out but I'm so glad that God is about to blow their mind wait 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 y'all ain't ready for what I'm about to say cause we're always saying God's about to blow my mind he said no not this year I'm not about to blow your mind I'm about to blow the mind of the wrong people that's been hanging around you look what the text say the text says they were astonished that means they're mine I came by this conference never met you before but I come to tell you you're at the right door might just be the wrong people but you got to keep on keeping on you got to understand that they that sow in tears are going to reap in joy I'm hanging in here until the door opens where at your neighbor and say neighbor I'm hanging in here till somebody open the door they gonna let me in I pray too hard they gonna let me in I waited too long they gonna let me in I love too hard we got to go home but I'm here to tell the devil not weary and well doing y'all ain't helping me I came to tell the devil I'm not envious of the workers of iniquity for they shall soon be cut down but I'm like a tree 
I use it all the time. And I got the clothes. I'm planted and I'm not potted. Y'all ain't hearing me. I said I'm planted and I'm not potted. I know these ain't real, but they make my point. It's a potted plant. It ain't a planet that's been planted. It's plotted. That means it can only stretch out to the size of the container. But if it want to grow, it's got to be rooted and dropped in the ground. And I'm here to tell somebody last year rooted you up. Last year got you out your comfort Last year put you in a place but I'm like a tree planted by the river the water. And, and I shall not be moved I'm at the right door, just might be the wrong people, but surely, I wish I had a good church here, surely, I'm holding on, and I won't let go of my faith. Lean on the neighbor, lean on the neighbor. And say, neighbor, you at the right door. Just might be the wrong people. God is about to switch the crowd. God is about to change the company. came to do is to tell you prayers are about to be answered no I'm in the wrong church I'm with the wrong people cause you should have lost your mind prayers are about to be answered prison doors are about to open dreams are about to come to pass passions are about to be set on fire whatever you put your hand to it's about to work whatever come out of your mouth it's about to come to pass all you got to do is praise him while you wait dance while you wait give while you wait live am I with the right people tonight Said, am I with the right people tonight? Where you at? That is a decree. It's my time. It's my time. I've been waiting. I've been looking. I've been searching. Dry your eyes and lift up your head. Oh, ye gates and be lifted up ye everlasting door and the king if you gotta pray on the altar when I count to three lose your mind and decree it I'm at the right door might be the wrong people but I'm at the right door. One, two, three, where you at? You watching us at home? Jump up in your house and go quit. I'm at the right door.
Preachers, preachers, let's do the text justice. Because we stop preaching where Peter is knocking. The book said, I'm done. He gets in. He starts telling his story. He has to use his hands to hush the people. Because they're so excited. Wait, why are you happy now? You just called the girl crazy and put my name in the obituary. Now you want to get happy because you see my survival. Here's the meat. In the beginning, Herod locks me up. But after my release, the same man that locks me up, y'all are hearing me, the angel, read it, visits him and takes his life. So you mean in one text, I got one angel coming to get me out. And I got another angel getting rid of my enemy. I'm sorry, I'm have my own mind. Because as long as you're locked up, your enemy gonna live. But God say the minute you get out, no, y'all still ain't caught it yet. This is a good place to praise. My freedom is a death notice to my enemy. And that's why the enemy didn't want me to get out. Because they knew once I got out, that's the end of it. All I'm trying to tell 24, your freedom is going to be the annihilation of your enemy. You ain't got to fight them. Put your sword down and just come on out. Your hurt down and just come on out. Put the desire to get them back. Put that down and just walk on out. Because vengeance is mine. Oh, I feel something happening in here. We ain't got the 30 seconds. Vengeance is mine. Said the Lord. I need about a hundred folk in here. And about 30 at home, just to jump up where you are and take a couple steps and just say, when I walk out, my enemy can't live. When I walk out, this is the demise of everything that tried to destroy me.
for me. Wasn't expecting me to get out. Wasn't expecting me to live. I feel deliverance in here. I feel release out of prison in here. Come on, joy. Joy Fest 2023. We proclaim. In the weariness of prayer, their attitude changed. They went in expecting Peter's release somewhere in the night. Their expectation became broken because when they got their prayer answered they proclaimed it crazy I even proclaimed Peter must have died as you touch whoever you are with you're with the right person Come on, nah, 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 nice. you're with the person that's not going to get weary because they're praying for you in fact, whoever you're touching, just tell them I'd make a covenant with you tonight. I am not going to get weary I'm praying for you. Tell them I'm going to keep on praying till you're released from every expectation of the devil. Every pastor pray for another pastor. We know the burdens. I know the burden. You know my burden. We know how hard this thing is. Whoever you're touching, just tell them I want you to make it. No, for real, tell them I want you to make it. Strong deliverance in this room. 
Now count the three, I want you to war in prayer. Some of you have prayer language, loose your language. We ain't got time, we got three minutes and we got to be out of this building. We ain't got time for you to work up on it. If you know the language, tap right in. Release him and they'll see the language. And angels are going to visit us tonight. Angels are going to visit us tonight. And decree our freedom in the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on. Angels are going to visit your children. Bring them out of the prison that they're in. Angels are going to visit your finance. Pastors, angels are going to visit our churches. And we're going to grow in a pandemic. While others are losing, we're going to gain. Hey, 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 hey. I feel God in here tonight. When I count the three, start going in the Holy Ghost. One, two, three, come on, travail. Touch that neighbor in travail. Why in the spirit? Cry out in the Holy Ghost. Come on, there you go. Come out of your belly, I cry tonight. Come out of my belly, I cry tonight. Come on, grab a travail. When Zion travail, she burst. Grab a travailing. There it is, there it is, there it is. Something is breaking. Angels are visiting. Situations are shifting. Come on, loose that language. Loose that language. Come on, children. Come on. It's for you. It's for you. That's it, babies. Cry out. That's it. Cry out to God. Yeah, my man, no see. Come on.
Make the devil mad. We came here tonight. Throw your head back. Clap your hands. Open up your mouth. And shout with the voice of triumph. this open, I don't want you to hesitate. We really got to be out of here in three minutes. While the ground is open, don't hesitate. You're at the right door. It just may be the wrong people. But I want everybody under the sound of my voice. I want everybody watching. Still over 120 people watching us. I want everybody watching. I'm going to make a seed. That's reachable for everybody. Because the Lord said tonight the strength is in the unity of us all doing it. I need everybody to get a $30 seed. That's all. Everybody get a $30 seed. You home watching us get a $30 seed. Put Don in the comment box. Let me see you do it. 30 giving out someone, everybody a $30 seed. Don't wrestle with it. Don't wrestle with it. Don't wrestle with it. Don't wrestle with it. Don't wrestle. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Favor in God. Yes, Satyaba. Put something on his life. Yay. Even now, claim him for your use. Hi-ya-ya. told me, me too. <laughs> Father, hey. Hey. make a divine deposit in this little man's life tonight. And the overseas. Somebody ought to give him praise. Somebody ought to know. I can't go there. strong in here tonight. I wish you I wouldn't miss this moment. Get that $30 seed, give. Somebody come. You're gonna give by check or cash. Bring it up here right quick. Come on, come on. Come on, we got to go, we got to go, we got to go. just two or three, not 10 or 20. I need everybody. Still got over 100 people watching. Come on, Facebook, I need you, I need you. Virtual audience, I need you. We can meet budget right here for tonight. What we've done in this first offering and this offering tonight, come on, we can meet budget. Mm. Hallelujah. Pastor, I know I came on a recommendation. 
thank you so kindly for opening this door of opportunity. Pray for me as I pray for you in the name of the Lord. As we're giving, the Lord is surely in this place. Lord God, his anointing is in the room. And we take full advantage of that deposit. Let's praise God for the ministry of Bishop Anthony Gill Young. Can we celebrate the Lord and celebrate the man of God? Come on. Glory to God. We're leaving. I wish we could stay in that all night long. My God. The power of God. If you are giving online, if you're giving online, make sure that as Bishop instructed us, if you're sowing that 30 or any seed, put in the text box, done. That seals your word. Let's be obedient to the man of God. Father, I praise you. I give you the glory. Hallelujah. We're getting ready to leave. We get ready to, to transition. I'm not giving an official benediction, but we're getting ready to leave. And I would that everyone stand, everyone stand, everyone stand, everyone stand. Can we give the Lord one more praise? Listen, not with the clapping of your hands, but lift your hands and open up your mouth. And let's praise God for the deposit that God has made in this room tonight. That's right, that's right, come on. Hey, Jesus. Give you glory, 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 glory. Come on, come on, come on. Ten more seconds. We give you glory. We can't allow God to move in a way as he did and not tell him we respect your anointing. We praise your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, hey, come on. Close those eyes. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. This is how you respond to the word. After you planted your seed, you give God praise from your heart and from your spirit. Bless you, Jesus. This is good ground. Continue to sow online. It's 86 of you. Go ahead and drop that seed. The seed can change your life. A part of this anointing. You may not be in the room. But you are part of this move of God. She came out of the Mahoria. The part of y'all not shot time. Part of this move of God. After you sold that $30 gift that was given, put done in the comments while we worship, while we praise, while we give them glory. They can't be in the room, but let's worship for them as they give. Come on. Let God know we worship you. We adore you. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. The Lord is blessing us and it's getting better and better by the moment. I dare you not to miss it. Be here. We'll be back in the morning, 9 a.m. Prayer is the nucleus of our faith. It's the nucleus of how we move and breathe and keep our connection with the Lord Jesus. 9 a.m. we'll begin prayer. Be here. Intercession team be on post. And then we'll go forth and praise at the hour. The breakout session with Pastor Mintz at 10 a.m. Then we'll break forth in our midday manner with Bishop William Young. I want you to greet somebody and tell them the blessings of the Lord be upon you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Listen. Tonight was amazing. Bishop Anthony Gilliard brought the word. Pastor Deshauna Bellamy gave us wonderful songs. Listen, I'm supposed to give y'all a takeaway. The whole message was crazy. If you can't go back and watch it, remember in 2023, you have the victory. He talked about us being planted. Don't limit yourself. I don't care what happened in 2022, but in 2023, you are a seed and you should be planted like a tree, not in a pot. It. Don't, don't limit yourself. Don't put yourself in a box. 2023, it will be God 
or it will be God. You have the victory in 2023. Thank you so much. Remember, we are at the Hilton in North Hills, Raleigh, North Carolina. Come on out tomorrow night at 730. Hope to see you. Do it now.